Today's swarm is another easy to reach one. It's on this shrub right here. And it's a decent size, it's not huge, but it's a, I would say definitely a prime swarm. And so we're gonna devise a way of getting them out of there, which shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, but first of all, I want to do a couple of experiments. The first experiment is going to be a follow on to my test I, I did yesterday on the fence post swarm to test the electric field on the bees. So here's our field meter, and I'm just going to put it close to the bees. This bee's crawling over the meter now, just trying to figure out what's what I'm trying to do, I think. Who knows? Yeah, so we are we are getting a response, but it's um it's I would say far from dramatic. Um, just with bees wandering around on the meter, let's see if we get something from that. The sensor of this meter is pretty much right where the bees are standing, so yeah, we are getting something. We are getting some flickers, even from a few bees, so several of them are fanning now, which is interesting, um, because that was what seemed yesterday to be causing um, at least the bulk of the readings I was getting. So there's a bunch of bees standing on the top of the meter, fanning. <laughs> and yeah, we're getting some getting some small readings there. Nothing very dramatic though. I'll just see if I can persuade a few more to join them. Maybe that will help. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some definitely some readings there. I mean, it's, it's not something I could reasonably quantify using this system because we're, we're look, what we're seeing is, is fluctuations in the meter reading which are quite um, in the range from zero right up to full scale yesterday. There's nothing, there's nothing close to full scale today yet. Um, a full scale deflection on this meter would represent something like a thousand volts per meter in the electric stat static electric terms. And it may be that they generate more static when they're uh, excited. So when there's a lot of them fanning, as there were yesterday, perhaps that's what uh, causes the, the, the dramatic readings that I was getting then. Okay, well, we'll, we'll call that a result and uh, try another experiment. So this probe that I'm holding in front of the camera now is something I built, oh, must be several years ago now. What it does, it's connected to this, um, where are we, amplifier. It's connected to this amplifier and to my headphones, which you can't see because I'm wearing them. And what it does is detect uh, radio frequency signals and turn them into something that's audible. And so I'm just gonna very gently poke this into the center of the swarm. getting quite a strong, it's almost like a mains hum, and uh, with any luck I shall figure out a way of recording this so that I can put it onto the track.
signal. But remember, this isn't, I'm not picking up an audio frequency here. This is, this is a, a radio frequency that is being either, uh, shall we say, created or amplified by the bees themselves. And then it's converted electronically into an audio signal. So don't, I'm not, we're, not, we're not listening to the bees as such. What we're doing is, is picking up their, if you like, their radio transmissions, although I, I'm dubious about that description at the moment. A few bees don't seem to produce a signal, at least not that I can measure or detect. If I touch the swarm or put the probe into the swarm, you can certainly hear the difference. Thank <laughs> you.